Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with FTB's Revelation Pack. All right, so we had a lot of fun with Embers last time, and you know, that kind of got me thinking. Like, what are the other things that I haven't played with recently? You know, mods that uh, are, are just fun to build, right? Not everything has to be total end game progression. Uh, sometimes stuff is just what you enjoy. And when I think about stuff that I really like, you know, I think about this right here. Immersive engineering. You know, multi-blocks, who doesn't love a good multi-block? And I was looking through the book, and, you know, it's got a lot of good stuff, right? Uh, some of the uh, uh, refining process is a lot of fun here to be able to get to uh, getting diesel and to make, is it heavy machinery? Is it uh, power? Here we go. To be able to make things like the diesel generator. I mean, the thermoelectrics with uh, nukes and, uh, you know, packed ice, that's always a lot of fun for power gen. But it's got this section down here at the bottom. Oil processing. Oil processing. Look at all this good stuff right here. A distillation tower. Look at that monster. Yeah, I want to go play with immersive. And so, you know, the very first thing we got to do in immersive is get creosote and steel. Well, I've got creosote. I mean, we've got it downstairs in our power gen, so we just need steel. And let's take a look at it, right? Steel ingot. So normal way is with a blast furnace, and then later on with an arc furnace. Or if you can make steel dust, but we really can't make steel dust because it usually just requires uh, grinding down steel. Yeah, that's about my only option. Redstone furnace, same thing. You got to grind down steel dust, right? No other options. But induction smelter, on the other hand, induction smelter has an option. Uh, not there. We're getting close. Right here. Iron and pulverized coal can make steel. So what I'd like to do today is I want to go ahead and see if we can get the setup. And we'll go ahead and see if we can find ourselves some oil. So I'm going to hop down here and let's make a quick uh, recipe. So let's see. I'm going to need pulverized charcoal. I think it was a four to one. Right. Let's just take a look. Uh, one iron, four pulverized charcoal. Does it have to be charcoal? Okay. Well, I mean, that's not really a big deal. We just got to make pulverized charcoal. Do I already have? Oh, I can make pulverized charcoal. All right, well, give me three more, and we'll set the pattern for it. I mean, that should only take just a second. There we go. Take this out, and let's go ahead and grab an iron ingot. All right, so one of those, and four of these. Oh, i got to set it to processing. And we'll go check this in the induction smelter. And is it this one? No, that's the one I'm using for something else. Let's see. Hello, induction smelter. Yep, this is going to be the one. Oh, and it's speedy. Oh, I love it. It's speedy. So I should have myself a steel ingot. I do. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Because that's the problem, right? You want to play with immersive today. You set up the blast furnace and the arc furnace, or the blast furnace and the uh, coke oven. Well, you can't really play with it until later, right? Because it just takes so long. So now that we can make a steel ingot, Let's go ahead and craft a whole ton of them, right? Charcoal and iron, not really a big deal. All right, so that takes care of the first half. The second half, well, let's just make sure this is working. Oh, yeah. Can I make this go faster? I can make that go faster. Can I get a kit? Do I have one of these? Uh, that might take a minute to make, and then an augment. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's just see if that kit's ready. This is a feature that I wish um, uh, a lot of things would have, to be able to just click over into it. Yeah, that's going to take just a minute. I bet you it needs the same arc furnace. Not arc furnace. Why do I keep saying that? I got immersive on the brain. All right, we'll uh, come back to that in just a minute, right? 
So I got creosote right up here, you know, as part of this process. We've got ourselves uh, 568 buckets, and we've got it because I turned off the dynamos for a little bit. I wanted to collect some up. And, you know, I thought about automating this process of making uh, treated wood, but I don't think I need to. I want to try a thing. Let's grab another one of these reservoirs from Thermal. So, see, that's 10 buckets. This is 40 buckets. Can I make one of these? What do I need? You always need buckets. All right, let's grab, let's grab a tier two. Yeah, right here. And I should be able to grab stuff right out of this tank, right? Can I? Am I grabbing? Yeah, there's three. All right, so I'm going to get like, I don't know, 16 buckets maybe. Let's just see here. I've got uh, 18, close enough. All right, so let's grab some wood. Right, I'm probably going to need to make a bunch of wood planks, which shouldn't be that hard to do. And hopefully I can do it right here in the crafting terminal. And we'll do one of these and check this out. I'm going to throw my reservoir in there. And let's check all this stuff in here and see what we can shift click out. There we go. Done. I love that I figured this one out. That you can use this like a bucket. And so we just made, you know, two and a quarter stacks just like that. I think I might want some more, though. I think I might want some more. So let me just grab a whole bunch more here. I mean, it's one thing. Let's make it once and be done. I don't know. Right here. 28 more buckets. Yeah, that'll work. We've got the supplies, right? And here we go. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I need this for anything else. You know, it's always handy to have one. I think I've got it one on me, though. Do I have one? Yes. Ah, I've got the same tier. All right. Well, I mean, we always need a spare. Okay. Put this up here. I'm going to chuck this extra stuff in a drawer. So let's go and take a peek in here. Plenty of space. You can live. Uh, you can be the immersive stuff. Oh, we probably need to put the iron. Not the iron, the steel. Right? Let's give the, uh, let's give the steel a home. Not leaves. Yeah, let's give the steel a home. That way it has block form as well. Yeah, right there. That way I can pull out blocks. And it should still be working on... Let's just take a look. Yeah, so it's still got 100 to go. It's doing its thing. Cool. All right, so let's take a peek in the book here. Let's see what we got to do. Oh, a projector. Yeah, I'm going to want a projector. Going to want a projector. Let's, uh, let's do that, too. Projector. Yeah, this guy right here. So planks, we got glass, we've got lantern. Yep, we can make. And let's grab a projector. That makes life easier. Oh, is, is that kit done? Why is this kit not done? Where are you hung up? You're still waiting on all of this. It's got to be because it's waiting on the arc furnace to do, yeah, lumium. Okay, well, it'll be done in a minute. All right. Anyways, back to this. Uh, so, fluid reservoirs. While mining near bedrock, occasionally notice a slick black flammable substance. I have not seen uh, a oil reservoir anywhere out in the world. Like, you know, I've done a bit of traveling, and I don't see it. It's not like Buildcraft, where, you know, I used to find it out in the water all the time. I just haven't seen a big old oil slick. I would have, you know, marked it down. So... That's okay. We can do without that. Uh, let's see. Specially designed machine. A pump jack. And you need a core sample drill. And so that's what we're going to go do. Let's make this uh, core sample drill. Yeah, so that's not that hard. Steel scaffolding, which is steel rods. And you know, I'm thinking about this. Let's go ahead. We're always going to need this part. Let's see. You're two ingots for four. And you're three ingots for four. All right, so we want that steel rod right there. Uh, you're crafting. Okay. And this is the part I really enjoy about AE, that I can do this. All right, right here. No, I don't want those. I want these. Or these. There we go. And let's do this. We'll throw this guy in here. I just wish I could shift-click them in. 
All right, so that's that. Uh, steel fences, yep, let's go ahead and pattern that out and put that guy in here. And then it should just be, I don't know, does this need wood? Oh, light engineering blocks, which means iron mechanical components. And I know how to make all of that stuff. All right. I mean, you're always going to need this. One more light engineering blocks right here. All right. And there we go. All right. So let's take a look at this guy. So we need fence, scaffolding, and engineering blocks. And it's probably easier at immersive. I think if I just ask for one, it's going to make six. Oh, don't throw that in there. And we'll make a bunch of fence. And then we'll make, I think it was two of these light engineering blocks. And that shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, let's just do this. Core sample. All right, did you make everything? Yes, you did. Cool. And now we're going to need to power this guy. Uh, so I'm going to need myself. Do I have an extra power cell? Oh, I think I do. Let's check out, see if this guy's online. Oh, and it's main power. Cool. All right, so we'll do this. And then uh, let's take a look and see what this pump jack would take. Let's see. Core sample drill. Yep, oil reservoir, aquifer, magma chamber. Yeah, I don't need to pump water or lava. Yeah, so pump jack. Uh, right here. Scaffolding, fence, pipe. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to come back and make some more parts. But <clears throat> let's go see if we can find... You know, I couldn't get so lucky to find it, like, right on the front lawn, right? That wouldn't be a thing. So I think you set these guys down and you punch it. Yeah, and now it's going to drill down and it'll pull out a core sample. And you can see when I'm looking at it, it's giving me chunk lines. All right, let's see. Here's my sample. No fluid reservoir. And if you want to remember, you can uh, set these guys on the ground. Yeah, there we go. And that way I can read it. All right, and so this is the process, right? Go from chunk to chunk. And I don't know a better way to find it than to go from chunk to chunk and look. Yeah, no minerals, no fluid reservoir. I don't know, should we build the giant digger? What was that thing called? Oh, I can see we got water here. Yeah, no, I don't want water. Where's the chunk line? All right, we'll, uh, we'll set that guy down. Nope. I'm assuming that somewhere right here, uh, let's try over here, that we'll find oil. And set this guy down. And go ahead. Yeah, what was that machine called? Let's see. I do kind of want to play with the motorboat, by the way. Just for giggles. Uh, heavy machinery, maybe? The excavator. I don't know. Should we make the excavator? It's stupid, but, you know, we could make the diesel gen to power the excavator based off from, hopefully, the fuel that we get off this thing. I don't know. Maybe we should go just crazy with uh, immersive. All right. Not there. I don't know. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Uh, straight line, I guess. Yeah, we'll just go in, in things here. All right, cool. Oh, I did remember to show you, too. Do I have it on me? No. Uh, let's see. I need to show you the one thing I forgot to make in embers, by the way. The glimmer crystal. So check out this guy. Boop. Light sources. Uh, if you're looking for a different kind of light source that is a block that you can punch and get rid of, this is kind of a, uh, a never-ending one. It does have durability, but... You know, I think as long as I've got Ember in my inventory, I can make lots and lots of these guys and, you know, recharge. I think it's a neat looking light. I'm sorry. I just, I forgot. I was like, oh yeah, I made this cool thing. All right. Glimmer Crystal, you can go back up in here. Did you find, oh, 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 nickel vein. And we found 10 million millibuckets of crude oil right here in this chunk. Nice, we found it right in front of the base. Will you do chunk lines? No, so... And these match up? Yeah, they match up with that. Okay, cool. So we've got this. All right, I can pick these guys up. Now I know that this is where it is. Now that didn't... That wasn't too bad, actually. We took, what, four samples and found oil? All right, so let's make ourselves a pump jack. So let's take a look at pump jack. 
oil processing pump jack. And we're going to have to make all this stuff. Uh, steel scaffolding. All right. I'm going to have to go back and forth here. So let's just make a bunch of this stuff. I'd like to have, I guess I'd like to have exact amounts. And that way I know if I'm off. All right. Uh, treated wood fence. I better, we better pattern some of this stuff out. Uh, treated, oh, I really can't spell here. Treated wood fence, which means I need to know how to make treated sticks first. I've got some because when I go uh, out in villages, you know, if you see the immersive engineering building, yeah, I kind of tear it down a little bit. Because you never know if you just need like four pieces and don't want to set everything up. You might as well take the freebies. All right, this guy here. I already forgot how many. Six. All right. So let's grab. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Right there. Go back in. Okay. Got that. Fluid pipe. Oh. I do like these pipes. They are a little troublesome every once in a while. Uh, just because of all the rendering. And I actually don't know if I should put the multi-blocks right next to the base. Uh, so let's see. Pipe. And if I order any amount of this, I'm going to get eight. And let's see. We only need six. All right. Uh, redstone engineering block. So we might as well make the light. Well, we already made the light. Let's make the redstone. There's a pattern. Heavy, which means steel mechanical components. Oh, I don't know how to make steel plates. And I can see that I'm almost out of patterns. No, I'm not. All right, so we got to go downstairs and we got to make steel plates. All right, uh, not here, right here. All right, so let's grab steel right here. And plate press, yeah. Do you have room for patterns? One more, cool. All right, so let's program this guy processing. Give me a steel. Right, right there is equal to this guy here. Encode that. And let's see, you're going to go in the compactor, and you're going to go in here. All right, what were we making? Redstone engineering blocks. Engineering. Redstone? No, I feel like I already made that. I feel like I already made that. I. It's because I did. We're making heavy engineering blocks, and to make those, we're making steel mechanical components. All right, that wasn't correct. Now I'm back on track. All right, right here, steel mechanical component, heavy engineering block. All right, right there. This is the part where I wish I could just shift click them in, but it's better than running to the machine. All right, let's see how many we need. So one engineering, two light, two heavy. Uh, let's do it over here. All right, one redstone. And I'm going to get more than I need. And let's see. I think these come in pairs and those come in pairs. All right, so there's the light. Uh, the heavy has to make a bunch of plates first. Yeah, come on. There you go. All right. And is, is that kit finally done? It is. Let's go ahead. You know, I need to make this so it's uh, everybody's upgraded to the max tier. We've got the supplies. We might as well do it. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Two blocks of steel and four sheet metal. Uh, who's sheet metal? Steel sheet metal. All right, sheet metal. And sheet metal is a really nice texture. I like this block. Silver, nickel. Oh, yeah, it's dark. That's right. So four more plates for four. I might not have made enough steel uh, for some of this stuff. All right. Two blocks of steel, four steel sheet metal. So, all right, here's two blocks of steel, but I can already see that that's the wrong texture. That kind of has me worried, right? Four sheet metal. Does, is this not on keep, sort? No, oh, auto keep, okay. So you're right there. Ah, block of steel. Block. Uh, hold on. We got to do it like this. Oh, I guess I could do it like that. Block of steel. 
So we've got all of the chisel blocks. Hold on, I thought I saw thermal or something in here. Chisel, chisel, chisel. Really? Valentine's block? Pink steel? Uh, <laughs> a companion cube. Awesome. Yeah, steel slab right here. That's the steel block. Okay, so I can chisel these from one to the other. I can chisel you into immersive steel. So I wonder if they're or dictionary or we're going to need our chisel. I don't know. All right, so we've got everybody, uh, and we're going to need tank storage. We're going to need tank storage. So I think for right now, can I make, do I have a black hole tank? Yeah. And then we'll pump out of this black hole tank into something else, but that should let me put all uh, 10 million millibuckets out there. All right, so right out here, I'm going to turn on chunk lines. Uh, yeah, this will help. All right, so tree, you've got to go. Do I still have my lumber axe? I do. That makes life easier. And what's this, a silver line from forestry? Ah, eh, that's worth holding on to. All right, uh, let me just chuck this stuff in here. Cool. So I'm going to take my projector and, you know, hold on, let's make sure the book is on the right page. It is. So we'll go ahead and craft these guys together. And what's the controls? Middle click to rotate. And then left shift, middle click to mirror. Okay. Uh, you know, you're kind of right in the way. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's take this guy. Oh, I was like, can I not pick him up? I don't think I can pick him up. No! Yeah, no, I don't have him. I guess we could get another sample. I... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fill this guy back in just because it's going to bother me. Right there. Dirt, dirt, dirt. And, you know, I do want a sample just in case I want to know what was here, uh, you know, later on. So we'll just, uh, we'll just grab another core sample. All right, so let's see how this guy... Oh, yeah, these are always kind of hard to see. I guess it doesn't much matter. I can just chuck it down here. I'm not sure what's front and back. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Let's take it out. Let's put it back. No, how do you stop this? There we go, dude. Why are you coming for me? You're not supposed to be. Uh, you're, not, you're not supposed to hurt me. Why? Why? Why you do this? Uh, so I've upgraded my armor. It's hard to see because the things don't show up anymore past level one. But I've got three levels of uh, of ashen whatever of that eldritch insignia on here. And I should, by the way, and we'll, we'll come out here. Yeah, m most mobs should ignore me at this point. Right? Hey, Skelly Bro. Notice they're not all attacking me, but that guy finally did. Okay. It's gotten a lot better the more uh, levels I put on. Like, more and more mobs are just leaving me alone. Right? Spider Bro's leaving me alone. I thought that was kind of nice. All right. Anyways, back over here. Let's go ahead and get this guy down. I kind of want him sideways. So middle click to rotate. Yeah, I wish I could see it a little better. Like, I can't zoom it out, but I think this is what I'm thinking of. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy built. So you and maybe you and you. Uh, let's do this. Just trying to put a bunch of blocks on my hotbar. All right. You're right there, and you, 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 right here. All right, and then uh, piping goes right there. That looks like fences right here and here. And then it's uh, that block, right? Yeah, that's the right block. And then this one, and then that one. And then there we go again. Another fence, another fence. Yeah, and this is what I'm worried about. Block of steel. Ah, oh, it looks like it goes two up. So this guy's in the wrong spot. All right, and then that. I'm not sure this will work with those. That guy and this guy. And then it looks like just sheet metal. Two, three, four. Yeah, no, the green outlines say it's a valid structure. Cool. All right, so uh, I'm going to need a hammer. 
Donde esta my hammer? Right there. Oh man, I have no idea what to click on here. Hold on, we'll find it. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Redstone engineering block in the middle, the pipes. No, I rotated the pipes by accident or disconnected them. Yep, yeah. all right. Come on, there it is. Okay, so it was back here somewhere. All right, let's get this guy out of my way. Ah, yeah, look at that thing. All right, so you take power. Did the book tell me? Did the book tell me how much power this guy takes? A uh, 1,000 RF a tick and pumps at 15 millibuckets a tick. Ejected through the side ports. All right, so it respects in and out. Average oil deposit will take 11 days to deplete. Adding more pump jacks can speed up the process. Eh, okay. All right, so right here, then, we'll go ahead and put our tank. And where is... Oh, yeah, I left it over here. I guess I can take out my core sample. Set it down. We'll pick these guys up. And I might go find more reservoirs. Uh, maybe we'll ender tank them or something. Ah, there it is. Look at it. Look at it. Look at how cool that is. Oh, man, we are pumping oil. We're oil tycoons. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, look at it. We already got like four buckets of crude oil. And then I wonder what we're going to get out of crude oil. Let's see. Uh, you know, this doesn't... Ooh. I can put it in a fractionating still and make refined fuel out of it. Well, you know what? That's a real decent option for power gen, because this is pretty early game right here. I mean, I've already got 10 buckets. That could, uh, that could power your base for quite a long time, actually. It's not the power we need, but it's... Uh, wow, that's a really good idea. All right, compression dynamos, I could burn it. Yeah, no, I don't see it in here. All right, let's go and take a look at, let's see, the distillation tower. That's where we'll get it. Uh, blah, 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 we'll make byproducts. All right, so we're going to get, let's see, 25 buckets of crude oil goes to diesel, lubricant, gasoline, and bitumen. Oh, that it changes over 25 per tick. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I'll have to do some math here on per bucket operation. But if we're going to get a lot of diesel, maybe we do get some diesel gens out here, you know, and set up a couple of these guys. I don't know. Uh, I, I just think that's amazingly fun. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. So I think next time we'll go ahead and work on uh, getting the distillation tower to get this guy. Let's see. How do I stop? There we go. We'll get that bad boy set up, and maybe maybe more than one. I don't know. It looks like an awful lot of steel. So I'm going to go cook up a bunch of stuff. But I think that's really cool and extra fun. Uh, so I'm 47 Mark IV, and hey, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know, drop me a like or a comment. I really look forward to seeing those. i love to know what you guys think about the, you know, immersive engineering uh, and making a whole bunch of stuff here. I think it's just a good time. Uh, I hope you have a good one, and I will see you in the next episode.